Hello, welcome to another week's reading vlog. It is actually Tuesday when I'm starting this. I skipped Monday. It was a bank holiday Monday and my last day off before returning to work after being off for five months. Badness. Um, so yesterday was very much a catch up with as much as I can before I go back to work thing. I filmed a few videos, did some editing, didn't really get anything worth vlogging yesterday so I thought I'd skip a vlog day, just get lots of filming and stuff done in preparation for a full week which works out pretty well because it is the 1st of September today which means it is the first day of the Touch of Whimsy Adventures Through Wonderland readathon and the first day of Bucopolathon and I have decided to start two books. Here they are. The first one I have strategically decided to tackle one of the biggest books first and that is The Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty and I am loving this so far but I knew I would. Doing very well with my reading so far. I'm 192 pages in and I'm gonna read some more of that sat on the sofa. Oh I'm nearly up to part two. Why did I stop there? Why didn't I just go to part two? Anyway, um, this is the third book in the City of Brass trilogy, the David Bad trilogy. Um, City of Brass I loved, Kingdom of Copper I absolutely adored and I'm very excited for the rest of Empire of Gold but so far it has not let me down at all and I'm really enjoying it and cannot wait to dig into it some more. Um, this one follows a young woman called Nahri who um, lives in Cairo. She's kind of a bit of a con woman but also wants to be a doctor. She has an affinity for healing um, and then when she's doing one of her cons one day um, she accidentally summons a djinn warrior who tells her that she is not who she thought she was and she may be half djinn from the city of brass and have magical ancestors and be part of this enormous family feud. <laughs> um, so that's what happens in this series. I'm really really enjoying this. It, you also get a lot from Ali's perspective who is the prince of the djinn and he kind of gives you the more political side of the city of brass etc but book three I can't really tell you anything about because it's the third one <laughs> but trust me that I'm loving it. I love S.A. Chakraborty's writing. I'm totally back in this world and I can't wait to sit down and read some more. But I didn't want to have this to work with me today because I went back to work today. So I took a little one here to work with me which is Green Glass House by Kate Milford. So this one I'm reading for the Touch of Whimsy Adventures Through Wonderland readathon because it's a middle grade. This is a mysterious middle grade about the Green Glass House Inn which is in this like snowy location um, and at this time of year that this is set normally the inn is really empty but a number of very mysterious guests have all appeared and the people that run the inn are very confused, mainly Milo. I don't know too much more than that because I'm only 26 pages in because I literally only read 26 pages on my lunch break because I want to read oh, The Empire of Gold whilst I'm at home because I don't want to carry this beast. So I'm going to go back to reading this but I thought I would just open the vlog because it's getting on on Tuesday and I haven't yet said anything but I did go back to work today which is very exciting. Had a very good day. Office has all moved around. My new desk is massive. It's great. <laughs> Um, but I'm really happy to be back. So much to sink my teeth into and I'm just really pleased about the whole thing. So far, so good for this week. Hopefully I can knock both of these out this week and honestly I would be happy with that. <laughs> on Thursday night just about to go to bed but I thought I would update you because I haven't done that since Tuesday so I didn't speak to you yesterday but I feel like it's kind of pointless to update you 
when I can't tell you much because oh <laughs> reading wise I've been doing a lot of it I just can't really tell you anything about it so Green Glass House is the one that I'm reading on my lunch breaks at work which is meaning I'm not getting through very much of it I'm only 70 pages in so there I'm enjoying it so far um our main character is kind of like playing a role play game with this other girl like feels D&D-esque like they're creating characters for them to play so that's that seems fun they've got like the beginnings of a mystery I suppose but I can't really say much else because I don't know much else so that's how that's going and Empire of Gold I mean I'm I'm quite far into this now can you believe I've only been reading this for three days it's the 3rd of September and I am on page 522 of this beast um, but I am loving it so much but because it's the third book in the series I can't really tell you anything about it so it's pointless in me updating you I love it I'm loving it it's really compelling hence why I've read 522 pages in three days which is a lot for me, especially considering I've gone back to work this week and I'm probably gonna read another chapter tonight when I go to bed, now-ish. So yeah, I'm still pretty hopeful that I can finish both of these this week. It seems incredibly doable. That's really all I have to say because I can't tell you anything more. Sorry if this vlog is really boring. My hair is a mess because I had a bath and let it dry like this which was probably a mistake but yeah I thought I would just update you because I haven't in a couple of days or in a day so yeah I'm gonna go to bed and when I have something more to tell you I'll tell you it <laughs> I swear my eyesight is getting worse because I can barely see if I'm in focus but it could also be because it's one o'clock in the morning on Friday night slash Saturday morning <laughs> We'll pretend it's Friday night. Um, I meant to update you way earlier and didn't but I finished The Empire of Gold. Um, considering I only started this on Tuesday and I finished it, I did finish it before midnight on Friday. So like four days for this 800, 750, 750 page book. Um, I'm pretty happy with that so that's one massive book off my TBR and I loved it so much so so much um I haven't put it through Corpile yet but five stars five stars so amazingly five stars it made me cry um the ending was like devastating but also you know just heartwarming but heartbreaking like really bittersweet like but as I said to you before, I can't tell you too much about this because it's the third and final book in a trilogy. But I loved it. I loved what happened. I loved how the story progressed. I loved the new information we got. There were like twists and turns that I were not expecting. Loyalties were tested. There were betrayals. There like so much. So much. And I loved it all very very much if anything was ever written in this world again I would be there for it but yeah the City of Brass trilogy the David Bad trilogy is definitely one of my new favorites I adore it and I'm so glad that I read this and I got through it so quickly because I just couldn't stop like it was really difficult to put down like I didn't want to stop reading it so I've read a big chunk of it today but when I got to a certain point towards the end when like shit was hitting the fan I just couldn't stop and I just kept reading and then it got to a point where I can't tell you what but yeah it went from shit hitting the fan to then something else happened and after that point as well I just could not imagine putting it down so I read a big old chunk of this this evening but I am so thrilled to have done so and I love this book and five stars um, as I say I haven't put it through Corpile but I am in love with the characters I love them all even the ones that you hate like they're so well done and I love them and hate them at the same time and I think it's so well written it was so compelling my intrigue was 
so high throughout the whole thing. I loved the plot, I loved all of the like the way the tribes intertwined in this and we were like given aspects of the history and how oh, oh so good so good so it's definitely gonna come out at a five star on Core Power, that's not even a question. So um starting off September and Bacoplathon very well. Um this was my Bacoplathon role for a sad read and it made me cry three times <laughs> so I, I'm pretty sure that counts as a sad read so that happened um, and yeah one of the bigger books on my TBR done <laughs> hooray um, but yeah I, I loved it if you haven't read the David Bow trilogy I really recommend them but yeah it's it's late so I should probably go to bed but it does now mean that I have the weekend to read Green Glass House which is good we have a bit of a like games night planned for tomorrow so I don't know how much reading I will get done tomorrow. I am still hopeful that I can finish Green Glass House this weekend and will be able to call this week a success so fingers crossed. But yeah I, I am thrilled to have got through this and loved it as much as I did and I'm now gonna go to bed because they're sleepy. <laughs> Hello! So I haven't vlogged since last Wednesday awkward. <laughs> um, so last week I finished Kingdom of Copper and then was all like oh yeah I'll finish Green Glass House over the weekend. Didn't happen. Monday came around and I said on Twitter how my vlog for last week would have been like 10 minutes so I was probably gonna merge them and you guys seem to be okay with that so merging them. It's now the you know the week after and I haven't vlogged all week so that content that I was hoping to be able to merge with last week's vlog and I still haven't finished green glass houses eh, not houses one house not plural um so don't really have much content for you I'm sorry but mm, it's been a bad week basically I never talk about my mental well-being ever. It's not something that I talk about. It's not necessarily that I haven't been comfortable talking about it but I feel like it's one of those things where it's like kind of a need to know sort of thing. Like if someone asks then I will happily tell but if you don't ask I'm not just gonna offload on you which is why I never talk about it in videos because no one asked. Um, so I'm not gonna delve into it because no one asked. <laughs> But I've had a bad week, pretty much, and haven't done any reading, any vlogging, any editing, any anything. It's just been pants. So, reading update, as I say, I didn't finish Green Glass House just yet. Um, but I am well over halfway making decent progress through it. But it's time to declare that my September TBR is going down the drain because just not in the headspace for it. So there's that too. Anyway, with that addressed and out of the way. Sorry but also not sorry because I know that you guys will always be like don't apologise for it, your mental health comes first and I know that but I still feel like it's something that I have to apologise for because you came here for content and you're not getting it. But more positive news is um, retail therapy. <laughs> so I got some books. Um, I actually only got one from Waterstones. I picked up Ray Bearer by Jordan. I don't know the pronunciation of that and I don't want to get that wrong. I should look that up. If you can? I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, but this one is one that I've seen floating about. People were excited about the release for this and I saw it in Waterstones and picked it up and it seems like it could be quite like dark and politically mysterious, which is something that I'm really into. Um, the main character was raised by a woman only known as the Lady, so it seems a bit like dodgy. Um, but it sounds it sounds good and there's a council of 11 that the main character may be picked to join so sounds like it could be politically mysterious which is what I'm all about so uh, looking forward to that and then I also picked up the paperback of The Missing of Claire de Lune which is the second book in the Mirror Visitor which is the sequel to A Winter's Promise which I haven't read yet so why did I buy the sequel? Because I saw it in paperback and it's nice and floppy basically um, and I think I'm going to enjoy the first one so I picked up the second one and do I know what it's about? 
No, but I do hopefully want to read A Winner's Promise for Polathon this year. Whether that happens or not, I don't know. But they're the books that I picked up. Yay! Then, this here happens to be a fairy loot box. So, should we open that quick as well? I'll try and fly through it for you because I know not everyone likes boxes, but just to get it done, this is the August box. I still get my fairy loots delivered to my mum's and it's been sat there for like two weeks. Um, so let the games begin, very pretty. On top here we have a zip up book sleeve, very nice, with this lady on this side and this chappy on the other. And I don't know who they are. Elias and Leia. Oh, from An Ember in the Ashes. I've read the first one of that, wasn't a massive fan, but the artwork's pretty, so there's that. Then we have this little envelope, which is the pin. And this is a sci-fi looking one. My current situation could be adequately described as suboptimal. I like the quote, don't know where it's from, but sci-fi-y. Then we have a golden egg bath bomb. Sniff. It smells nice. It's gonna be glittery. I can see the glitter. Mm. And a metal bookmark. It's dark, it has a cat and a girl and is definitely Mia and Mr. Kindly from Nevernight. This is actually very pretty. I like this a lot. I'm a fan of this device. Device? Is a bookmark a device? No. Then we have a magnet that looks like it's from Scythe. And we have a hardback, in case you didn't believe me, notebook, sketchbook, don't throw it on the floor. Notebook, Ooh, it's got artwork on the inside that says, monsters are only as real as the stories that grant them life and they only live for as long as we tell those tales. From Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie, Carrie, no, Kerry Maniscalco. Tarot cards. Oh, Mia and Mr. Kindly again, I think. And the book and the pouch is back. In the last time I opened one of, in the last time, whenever I last opened a fairy loot box, the pouch was missing. But it's here now. And we have the bookmark and the art print. And from the art print, I know exactly what the book is. Has the author letter on the other side. And then we have the fairy scoop and next month's theme is under the sea. And then the book I'm pretty sure is gonna be, is it called the Star Daughter? That looks like that print. Yeah, the Star Daughter by Shveta Thakra. Um, I don't know too much about this, but I've seen it kind of everywhere, which is a good thing. And of course it is signed, has beautiful gold sprayed edges, and is just in general a beautiful book. And then it has beautiful artwork under the dash jacket as well. So there you go, there's an August fairy loot. That adds a bit of content to this vlog, doesn't it? There you go, I feel a bit better for having said something and spoken, because I haven't vlogged in over a week because I've been shit. So yeah, I will try and catch up with you again at some point this weekend before I upload this vlog on Monday. But I'm gonna make no promises because I come first. Okay, I will chat to you when I chat to you. Monday but we're gonna ignore that. I'm here to wrap up this mess that you've just watched. If you've made it this far into this vlog I'm I'm gonna apologize for the fact that I feel like I've wasted so much of your time by you watching this but I know that some people will still want to see it so I'm still gonna upload it but um well I mean I finished 
Emperor of Gold last week, put that in this vlog. So there's been some meaningful content here. <laughs> um, reading wise, I'm still reading Green Glass House. I didn't manage to finish it this week either, but definitely over halfway and I'm hoping to get a decent chunk done this evening after I've edited this vlog and uploaded it. But that's Monday content, so you'll see that next week. Um, but I just wanted to say that I'm actually feeling much better. It's been a couple of weeks of... what? Um, well, no, a week. A week and a bit of what? Because early last week I was feeling okay. When I was reading Emperor of Gold and I was really getting through that, I was feeling fine. And then it just... Um, but... I've I had a decent weekend. I still didn't vlog much other than my fairly unboxing and my little haul and update for you. Um, but I had a decent weekend and I feel better. I'm not gonna say I'm feeling 100% because I'm not, but I'm definitely feeling better than I have done throughout the rest of the week. So fingers crossed that this weird little period's over for me. Um, and I'll just say it again, like I never talk about my mental health stuff I just I never do because no one asks like you don't need to hear about it if you want to talk to me about it talk to me about it but I'm not gonna put it out on the internet for everybody to look at because that's just not me so thanks for watching this mess <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it somewhat maybe um but yeah Thanks. If you've made it this far, I want to do an emoji thing because I really, I, I don't want the comments to be full of sympathy. I really don't. So, instead of that, if you're inclined to want to do that and want to give me love and support, I want an emoji with its tongue out. I don't know how many there are, but I know there's one that looks like this. I want that one. <laughs> any, any emoji with its tongue out is is the um emoji of the video so if you could drop those down below that'll make me feel better too <laughs> um but yeah okay i'm gonna stop rambling now so thank you i'm sorry let's get over it let's move on and i will see you next week <laughs> bye <laughs>